Welcome, Hoosier fans, to this Monday edition of Banner Morning, your daily rundown of IU basketball news and notes. I'm Jared Morris, host of the Assembly Call, and we're now one day away from a chance to snap the losing streak. In team news, Indiana's computer rankings continue to slide after a fourth straight loss over the weekend. The Hoosiers, once as high as 16th in the country in Ken Palm, are now 36th. For fans who have endured watching the last two games especially, in which Indiana lost by 15 in each, 36th might actually seem higher than expected. You can attribute that to the fact that Indiana's four consecutive losses have come to teams currently ranked in the top 17. The Hoosiers' offense has fallen to 48th in adjusted efficiency after two straight games, scoring 55 or fewer points. Perhaps surprisingly, the defense remains top 30 in adjusted efficiency. In other computer rankings, the Hoosiers are 25th in Sagarin, although they are 35th in his alternate rankings that weight recent play more heavily, and Indiana is 46th in Bart Torvik's T-rank. I know, not the most positive of ways to kick off a new week, but the Hoosiers will have an opportunity to snap the losing streak tomorrow night when they visit Evanston to take on Northwestern. Indiana defeated the Wildcats 68-66 back in December in a closely contested home matchup. Northwestern is currently ranked 59th in Ken Palm. Indiana clearly isn't ready to compete with top 20 level teams, so perhaps they'll fare better against a team not at that level. In IU legend news, I have sad news to report this morning. Jimmy Rail, one of the greatest shooters and scorers in the history of Indiana basketball, passed away yesterday. He was 77 years old. Rail was Indiana's Mr. Basketball in 1959. He also holds the IU record for points in a game with 56, which he did twice. And he likely would have scored more in one of those games had Branch McCracken not removed him with three and a half minutes left in a blowout against Michigan State. As a sophomore, Rail averaged 29.8 points per game. As a senior, he averaged 25.6 points per game. And remember, he did all of this without the three-point line. He played two seasons for the Pacers. Archie Miller issued a statement saying, quote, On behalf of everyone in our program, our thoughts and prayers go out to the Rail family. His accomplishments as a basketball player from this state were profound and set an example for others to aspire to. Rest in peace, Jimmy. And we have a birthday today. Happy birthday to Harris Muyezinovich, who turns 45 today. Harris played at Indiana from 1995 to 97 after transferring from junior college. He was a rugged big man known for his all-out hustle and toughness. He averaged five points and three rebounds for his career before embarking on a professional career overseas that lasted more than a decade. For the links mentioned in this edition of Banner Morning, visit assemblycall.com. And remember to use the URL iutickets.shop to visit SeatGeek for the best prices on IU basketball tickets. I'll be back tomorrow with a brand new edition of Banner Morning. Until then, keep your elbows in and your eyes on the rim, and go Hoosiers.